Hey guys, so today I'm going to teach you guys how we do stitch braids in my shop. So as I'm watching this video, this is going to be my first time watching this video. So we're going to be watching it together for the first time, okay? So we use my hair jam and we are doing stitch braids. Depending on the hair texture, you'll use jam and wax. Because his hair is soft, you only need a nice jam. And my jam has a very nice hold. So it will mold that hair so you can grip it really well for stitch braids. Make sure you comb that product in very well. And be sure to not put the product product too high up on a braid so one inch worth of like hair coverage is good from the root on up you don't want it to be way too saturated because it's going to be hard to stitch through okay and as the way she stitches if y'all notice if you go back to the beginning of this video she put a lot of jam in between his hair you got to rewind to see that that's something that i saw for the first time i'm like girl you do it like that but anyways now we're going to go ahead and get started so I want you guys to pay attention to how she uses her comb to stitch, okay? Boom. You see, she grabs that hair, and I'm going to explain how she does it. So boom, she uses the comb. She grabs that piece of hair. One, two, weave down in the same spot. So a lot of people, they stitch on both sides of the scalp, okay? On the left and the right. But when you stitch this way, you just grab the hair one time, boom, and then you braid down in place twice. One, two. Two and braiding down in place just makes up for the fact that you didn't have to stitch on both sides. One, two. So you grab the hair once and you braid down twice to make up for not having to braid down on each side. Boom, boom. This is easier. It makes your braids neater. For people that cannot control having to stitch on both sides, this just makes everything more equal. Okay? So just pay attention to how she's doing this. Look, she's grabbing it with the comb, she's grabbing it once. One, one grab, then one, two on the braid down. And that's literally it, guys. That's literally it. Grabbing that hair, braid down in the same. You're braiding in place. The braid down is in place. You're just doing one, two. Grab that hair, braid down in place. One, two. Now, I need you guys to be mindful of how big you're grabbing this hair. Don't get all comfortable and now you're just grabbing big pieces. You're grabbing little pieces and it's not consistent. Pay attention. Be mindful. Make sure you have enough product. The product is really that, that the most important thing. Because if your product is too watery and your client's hair is slipping out of your hand, you're in trouble. But if you go ahead and get my wax, my jam, and you might need my wax as well if your client has 4C hair. But again, for his hair texture, it was soft enough to just be able to use my um, jam. Okay, so we grab it and then we braid down twice in place. One, two. But also, you see her hand placement? You see how her hands are not all over the place? They're in place. They're in one place and they're very close to the client's scalp holding that braid in place as she's braiding. That's how you keep your braids seamless. That's how they stay neat. Because if your fingers are all loose and all over the place, you're going to lose control of that braid. Now you're going to have ripples and you're going to have inconsistencies and things of that nature. You see how she's holding that hair? Look at that. She, look at her middle finger. Holding that hair in place. And that's why these braids are so neat and so seamless. So if you guys are having problems with just having an overall neat stitch braids, you absolutely have to see how your hand placement is. And make sure when you stitch, instead of lifting your hand all the way up to stitch, just try to ease that hair into your fingers, you know, from where they are. I hope that made sense. So again, when you use your comb to stitch that hair, try to stuff that hair into your fingers instead of you trying to open up your hands to grab that stitched hair. Okay? Because once you open up your hands, you lose control of the braid. Now the braid's not seamless and you can't get your rhythm back. So you, see, you just see how her fingers are just in place. We're going to try again here. This braid was actually supposed to be for real. I'm just now noticing that it's in this YouTube, but it's fine. We're not going to trip about it. You can still look at it. Just turn your phone over or however you want to do. Yeah, you can turn your phone to the side. It'll be big. So you see how she's using her comb to grab it? We're grabbing it and we're braiding down twice. Okay? We're grabbing it with that comb and we're braiding down twice. But do you see, I want you guys to watch her middle finger. Watch her middle finger on both hands. Okay, so we're grab. you see how she grabs that hair, but her middle finger is still holding that braid down because she wants her braid to stay in place. And you see her other hand holds down onto that braid as she's weaving down. Look at the, watch this. Middle finger, boom. See that middle finger? Holding that hair in place. 
You guys got to be mindful of your hand placement. That's really going to make a break. It's the product and the hand placement. The product, the hand placement, and the size of your stitches that you're putting in your client's head. Like, you got to be consistent with all of this. And I'm telling you, it'll take you far. Yes, it's a lot of work, but that's why you got to charge the client. And make sure your client's hair is straight. Stop doing these clients' hair and letting them bully you into saying, oh, I don't use heat. I don't like heat. No, baby. If you don't like heat, you can't get this style. You're not about to stress me out, okay? Only the girls with the very soft hair that they could just brush their hair out. Those are the only ones allowed to do no heat because their hair is so fragile, they don't need heat. <clears throat> okay, let's now finish this braid, guys. It's the last one. And the technique is still the same, guys. It is still the same. Use that comb. Look at her middle finger. Pay attention to her middle fingers. Okay, this middle finger that's holding a braid is holding that braid in place so she could grab that hair and stitch down. But look at that middle finger, boom. Okay, we grabbing the hair with the comb. Look at the middle fingers, guys. Boom, holding that braid in place. Holding that braid in place, guys. That's number one. And when she grabs that hair that's stitched, her middle finger is still holding that braid down. It's her thumb and index finger that's actually grabbing that stitch. <clears throat> so you literally have to be mindful of your hand placement. That's literally it, guys. Stitch braids are not hard. You just got to find the technique that you can actually do. And you have to follow the steps. Follow the steps. Use the right products. And just take your time. And again, also, make sure the client's hair is blown out, please. Please make sure their hair is blown out. Because a lot of y'all have good work. But because you're skipping steps, like one as one that's as important as blowing somebody's hair out, your braids look terrible. And now you feeling like you can't braid, but you really just didn't prep your client's hair properly. So if your client wants to argue about how they don't use heat and this and third, baby girl, we're not doing that. Especially it'd be the clients with the thickest got darn hair that want to open their mouth and say, I don't want no heat. Ma'am, you're not one of them. So go have a seat and we're going to blow dry this hair. Or you're going to have to get another style. Like go get box braids. <laughs> Go get passion twists. Go get Marley twists. Like this, this clean, sleek look is not for those who do not want heat. <clears throat> and sometimes people hair be so thick, you low key got a hot comb it. I'm just, look, don't shoot the messenger, okay? But if you got a good blow dryer and their hair is very clean, a blow dryer should be good enough, honestly. Oh my gosh, look how clean these braids look, guys. So go to my website, honey. We have our, we have mousse on my website. We have our hair jam, our hair wax, and our wooden precision combs straight from Africa. Handmade in Africa, guys. You will love my precision combs. They're very sharp and they will get you the cleanest of the cleanest parts. I ain't lying. Because if you want this look right here, baby, <laughs> you got to have the best of the best products. And you have to have the best of the best knowledge. And I just gave y'all the sauce, okay? I just gave y'all the sauce. So what are y'all going to do with it? Tell me, what are y'all going to do with it? Are you going to apply it? And if you apply it, I want y'all to post videos. Tag me on Instagram. Tag me on TikTok. I want you guys to be great, period. 